In this video, we will take a look at a few reasons why you're probably not going to be installing a curved hip or valley, even though I'm just going to provide you with examples of the valley here. So here we have a straight line. And with the straight line, we will actually have flat sections of the roof. This side will be a flat section. This side will be a flat section, making it a lot easier for everyone to work with and build. And this would include roof framers and people who are going to be installing the roofing materials. Next up, let's go ahead and install a couple of curved lines on this section of the roof and on this section of the roof here. And then show you how it's going to affect the roof framing. And I'm basically going to be providing you with two examples one using this side of the curved valley and then one on this side here. So let's go ahead and start with our first one. We're going to have a straight line here, straight line here, curved line here, flat surface, flat surface, and then of course the surface here that is no longer going to be flat. We're going to need to raise the lower connecting points of the roof rafters until we get all the way up to the top. And this will also reduce the pitch of the roof as we work our way up to the top. So you can see here we've got our curve along with our straight lines here. But this section is no longer flat. So this is going to be the biggest problem. And if you want to see it framed, feel free to leave a couple comments in the comment area. If I get about 50 of them, I'll go ahead and make a video on it. Other than that, I don't think there's going to be much interest interest in this because of the problems that you can see right now. And you can only imagine the problems you're going to be facing doing the roofing on something like this. And in our next example, you can see here where everything looks like it's working, but how could that possibly be? Everything's working. Everything's flat here. Okay, maybe I put a little too much drama into this one. That's because we have a wall here. And by creating this offset, or modification in the building, it will allow us to have two flat surfaces for the roof. And of course, provide you with another option if you are going to curve the roof. And next up, let's go ahead and change the direction. Again, we're going to be dealing with two straight lines here, along with a reduction in the pitch of the roof as we work our way up. And in the same way, as the example where we simply had this one on the other side. And hopefully by now you're starting to wrap your mind around the curved valleys and even the hips, how the curved design would be affecting either the hips or the valleys. And let's go ahead and wrap the video up with a curve in the other direction here. If we have the curve going up or down, you can get an idea of what it's going to take to build something like this, especially if you have a larger curve, something that might be a little higher than the ridge, creating even a water trap in certain areas. And as always, if any of this made sense, make sure you let us know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area. Along with these words, I want to see how a curved valley is framed in the comment area. And once we get to 50 of them, I will make the video.